yes, a couple of people just joined just to say we are recording this session and um, for those that couldn't make it and to go on our web page so if everyone could remain um, muted um, and if you'd prefer to remain camera off so you're not included in the recording please do so um, I'm sure it doesn't need saying but um, please keep all kind of comments in the chat polite and respectful to one another um, and as I said do introduce yourself um, and post any questions you have whilst I'm talking um, throughout the session we're going to have a Q&A um, yeah brilliant well I will formally kick things off um so just to introduce myself for those who have um, never met me before um my name is Megan Hermes I'm getting a bit of feedback could everyone just make sure they're on mute if possible Thank you. Um, yeah, my name is Megan Hermes. I'm the Partnerships and Engagement Lead for Climate Change and Sustainability for Wandsworth Council. Uh, and I'll be heading things up for Wandsworth Great Big Green Week. And I'm joined by my colleague Georgina, if you'd like to introduce yourself, Georgina. Hello, I'm Georgina Crichton. I joined the team about two months ago and delighted to be working on the Great Big Green Week um, project as well. Brilliant. Uh, this is the outline for the session. Um, where we're going. Um, we're just going to run you through quickly in the first half of the session just the kind of vision for what Great Be Green Week is going to be all about. Uh, we have some funding available and we're going to take you through that. Um, we'll have time for any kind of questions after that and then the kind of really valuable part of our time together I think is going to be breakout sessions at the end um, where we're just going to have time to um, talk about the different work that everyone's involved with, find out more about what everyone does um, and how you're involved in the local community and discuss sort of people's initial thoughts and ideas around what we're proposing for the week, how people might want to get involved, um, how we might work together, um, how people might want to collaborate with one another. And then we'll come back together and bring the session to a close and kind of give you some key dates for your diaries going forward um, and also get any feedback that you've got for us. Great. So what is Great Big Green Week? <laughs> just want to share with you the kind of vision for the week. So Great Big Green Week, you'll see we've got the kind of logo there of the Climate Coalition. So it is a national campaign that the Climate Coalition run every year. And it's all about kind of championing and celebrating community led climate action. Um, so what we want to do is we want to join in with that locally by hosting Wandsworth's Great Big Green Week. Um, and that's really to spotlight what everyone, what you are all doing in the community already. We really want to champion all the initiatives and all the kind of work that is going on. Um, we want to encourage new things and new initiatives. Um, and we really want to encourage everyone in the borough, especially those people who aren't getting involved with climate action locally, to kind of see the kind of um, breadth and depth of things that are actually happening like on their doorstep and hopefully get involved, not just for the week, but for the months and kind of years going forward. So we really hope that this week will kind of catalyse a kind of big uptake um, in climate action like, hyper locally. Um, the, the real vision would hopefully be that we kind of get to June and we have a map of the borough that demonstrates all these different events and activities and initiatives that are happening all across, across all the wards um, so people can kind of get involved with things that are like, as I say, are right on their doorstep. Um, so really as the council, we see our role uh, more to kind of facilitate and support and equip you all to get involved with the week um, and also fund things um, and really promote things. So we have a kind of big plan um, for how to kind of promote the programme once it gets put together for Great Big Green Week. Um, and we'll explain a bit more about the funding later on in the session. Um, so our hope is really to see new groups and residents get involved and invested in local climate action. Um, and we know that this is done best when people get involved and invested really in their local community. And that's why we want to run this week so that people can get involved with um, all of the things that we know and see are happening um, already. And hopefully stay engaged getting forward. Um, great. So these are just a few examples. Some of you may have been involved with the Climate Coalition before or perhaps um, with the Wandsworth Together on Climate Festival that happened uh, before my time at the council. But I've just pulled out a few examples of things I've seen in other boroughs or things I've seen from the Climate Coalition that have been done before. Um, it, we'll use the kind of time in the breakout discussions to d discuss this, but um, 
there's kind of two halves to this. On the one half, we'd really love to encourage innovation and new in initiatives and really think about ways that we can kind of get groups and people involved across the borough that haven't been involved with climate action before. Um, but we're also not here to ask you all to reinvent the wheel. So if you're a group that has regular volunteering opportunities but you just need more local volunteers then we'd love you just to run a session during the week and we will promote that and hopefully get more people connected in on a kind of longer term basis um yeah so we hope through the funding that we will talk through um and these kind of community workshops that um some of you may want to team up and run bigger events or run one-off activities or just run things that you're already doing um but we can kind of pull it together into this program and really promote it um, I don't think I'll talk through these because uh, I think you can read them. Also, I should have said at the beginning, um, I apologise, but I will circulate these slides. So if anyone is frantically noting anything down, please don't worry. Um, I will send out all of these slides and all of the details of the things that I'm mentioning afterwards um, so that no one misses anything. Just wanted to quickly signpost as well. So TCC, because this is a national campaign that we're kind of joining in with as a local extension, they have a lot of resources that are available on their website. Um, they have this ideas pack. Um, they also have um, ideas around kind of promotion and everything. Um, so it's worth checking out. Um, that the point of the national campaign is that people can log their event and then they put together a kind of long list so people can see what's happening hyper locally. Um, but we'll obviously be doing that as well. Great. Um, so just to conclude, um, this is our ambition for the week, really. We want to use um, this to find kind of set period, this one week in June to really have a, like catalyze a big conversation around local community climate action and make this big splash around climate change. This is something that I know we're all thinking about and working on and talking about every day, probably <laughs> in our jobs or in our volunteering um, or in our networks. Um, and we want to use this week to kind of enlarge in that conversation and bring in everyone across the borough um, through various different avenues, through schools, through businesses, through community groups. Um, and through this hopefully programme that we will put together full of activities and events, pop ups, regular volunteering things um, and hopefully signpost everyone to all of the wonderful existing projects that are already happening and any new initiatives that um, people come up with for the week. And what is even more exciting is that unlike many occasions, we have funding on offer <laughs> that we can offer to you. So I'm going to pass over to Georgina now, who is going to explain a bit about the micro grants that we have set up for this opportunity um, and how they are going to work. So Georgina, over to you. Thank you. So yes, yeah, so the, the, we're really excited to be able to offer small micro grants uh, funding to support any sort of project or initiative around Great Big Green Week. Um, in addition to this, if uh, your ideas are bigger than just a one-off event in June, then let us know separately and we can look at other funding pots that are available. But for the purpose of today, we wanted to introduce this funding pot, which we're really pleased to have secured. Um, and our aim is to make it as easy and accessible as possible and as open to as many different community groups, individuals, anyone who lives or works um, in Wandsworth, including schools and businesses to apply for. Um, I've just shared the web page link in the chat and we'll send it as a follow up anyway. But on our web page, and please do refer back to it because it'll have all the updates on key dates, um, forms to fill in uh, if you want to register your events um, and uh, more details on the micro grants criteria and the application forms for those. Um, but we're keeping it as simple as possible. Um, the sorts of um, what you can use the funding on would include venue hire, event costs, any sourcing in specialist equipment um, and example projects could include rewilding a community space, it could be organising a event or a party, a sustainable street feast, a nature trail, um, an event to chat about climate action, it could be an outdoor fitness centre session or an art and photography session. So we've got a, a number of examples that um, that we'd like people to sort of think about think about um, running. Um, the application form will be a really simple one um, just through our website. And the the dates that we're we're working to for this are that 
the website's now up and running. The application form will be available um, hopefully at the end of this week. Um, and uh, you can apply throughout um, April with the deadline being the 28th of April. And then we'll select our um, uh, the, the um, we'll, we might have to do a bit of questions and answers, but hopefully it'll be really simple and we'll award the um, the grants in in May. Um, and then all that we ask in return is that you share share photos, share details of the the event, um, and so that we can we can learn from them. We can have a sense of the scale, what was successful, um, and we'll share more de details of that um, nearer the time. But we're really pleased to be able to offer um, micro grants. We know that it can it can make a difference. And if you're considering running a series of events, yes, you can apply for for more than one micro grant. Um, per uh, whom to apply for a micro grant per event. Um, th there is a full criteria list that will be on the website alongside the application form. So but in the meantime, any questions on that, please do let us know. Oh, uh, Amy has just asked for it, the link to go back in the chat. So I'll just I'll just save that again. Yeah, we'll share that a few times. And also, someone's just said, might we have posters, etc., of that lovely logo available? Um, so yes, we'll have. That's a really good question. Actually, we can certainly have access to. So on the website, we've got the logo, um, but we can certainly put some resource materials. Yes, and we will also well. have um, ones worth great big green week branding as well that can be put on any kind of comms and promotion that's going out um, and we'll have a bit more information about comms and promotion um, at the end. Um, thank you Georgina for sharing about that. Um, yeah we really hope that the micro grants mean that this is kind of accessible to as many people as possible and means that there are kind of minimal barriers to involvement and entry and also encourage kind of groups and individuals to get involved who um, might not have before um, and we've really tried to make the criteria as minimal as possible I know that can often be a barrier with applying for funding as well so we've tried to keep that as kind of minimal as possible um, as Georgina says um, we don't want it to be um, an admin headache at all um, try to make the process as simple as we possibly can um, so that we can just equip you to make things happen um, and also this is not means tested as well I can't remember if you said that Georgina but um, the full criteria will be up on the website and we will share that with you when we share the slides kind of later this week. Um, I am aware that I raced through all of that, um, but we'll move on to some sort of question time in a second. Um, but just to sort of clarify, so how this, how we see this happening now, we have kind of, um, we'll have the dates for your diary and kind of at the end and talk about um, comms and promotion. Um, but there will essentially be a web form um, on our, on the web page that Georgina shared um, in the coming week and essentially if you're running an activity or an event or an initiative whenever you plan that from now until kind of mid-May we have a kind of cut off point for when we can include it on flyers um, if you fill out that form all that information will come through to us and we will add it to the program um, and we will have more touch points like this um, you can also get in, in contact with us outside of these touch points but that is how we're kind of looking at putting this program that I kind of kept mentioning together. Um, but we're by no means doing this one hour session and then expecting you to kind of just go off and do it and come back to us. Um, there will be more kind of touch points and available and moments for support. Um, and at the end, we'll get your feedback as well on how we can kind of best equip you to run things during the week. Um, great, but. That muted me instead of moving the slides. Any questions? I will stop screen sharing now. Um, but if anyone has any questions at this point, I know I've alluded to some more information that's coming at the end. But if anyone has any questions now, we can go through them. Um, and then we will go into a couple of breakout rooms where we will have some discussion prompts. So Sari has raised Sari's hand. Hi there. Thank you so much. Um, my question is, um, does this sort of have to coordinate with um, the net zero strategy of, you know, the London borough of Wandsworth. Um, is this kind of, is this going to be sort of, are we going to be given some support in sort of ensuring that we're all aligned on net zero? Or is it just sort of bring your ideas to the table um, 
rather than sort of these are the things that we think will have the most impact. Um, That's a really great question. Uh, something that I should have mentioned is that our colleagues in our climate change team, our policy colleagues, are, have put together, and it's almost ready, but wasn't quite ready to share with you tonight, um, some events guidance that um, we will share that basically um, is guidance with the whole borough about anyone wanting to put on an event, how it can be done sustainably and how it can be done in line with the kind of borough's net zero ambitions. Um, so that's definitely something that we'll share with everyone alongside all the other links that I've mentioned. Um, but that's a really good point as well. Um, when we've done this in the past obviously when the form comes through normally that then just starts a dialogue so we will then kind of email and back and ask about the event um if anyone wants specific support with specific information um about the kind of net zero plans that we can have a conversation about that um but also if an event came through that we thought was a kind of big red flag in terms of net zero ambitions then we would probably kind of go back to someone and have a conversation um but in terms of specific support we can look at so we have the um, the updated Wandsworth Climate Action Strategy um, is going on the website this week um, because it went through committee last month. Um, but it, I'm aware it's a very long document, <laughs> but we're putting together a kind of summary one pager. So that's perhaps something that would be helpful um, in light of your question for everyone to see, to kind of see what's kind of aligning with that. In terms of most impact, um, it's a really good question because that's obviously something that we ask ourselves all the time. I think from my perspective, the things the things that get the most impact are when people get involved with things that are hyper local, which is the whole kind of point of the week and get involved in community led initiatives, um, because those are the things that kind of keep people invested and involved. Um, so that's what we're really looking to encourage um, throughout the week. Um, we're not kind of wanting to prescribe exactly what that looks like because we're just aware that there's there's so many great things that already happen in the borough um, whether those things relate to kind of sustainable fashion or sustainable transport um, or litter picks or biodiversity there's so many things already happening um, so we're not trying to be too prescriptive about it but like I say we will be keeping a, an eye on what comes through in case something comes through that we think doesn't fit with um, yeah the net zero ambitions I hope that uh, answers that question. Georgina, yeah, have you got no, anything to add? Helpful, thank you. I, I was just going to say this is the first time that we've run it in, in Wandsworth um, Great Big Green Week so it's a little bit of an unknown as to what sort of interest we're going to get and what sort of ideas people come up with. What we're hoping with is that obviously we get a, a big range of different all sorts of um, organisations and community groups and schools and as, as I say that have really interesting different initiatives encouraging different types of behavioural change because then that becomes something really nice and exciting that we can start to talk about so um, we, we really want to encourage repair cafes and sort of planting sessions and or, or walking or wh whatever it might be just a, a real range and um, I think we'll probably know people have started to approach us already with ideas or questions about are these sorts of ideas suitable um, and um, the, whilst the micro grant criteria or the judging of those isn't going to be based solely on the biggest impact that's made in terms of net zero um, you're absolutely right that it um, the um, the engagement or the involvement the behavioral change that it's going to be created or the number of people that we can reach and and um, that's that's certainly going to be of interest but it's also not to me not to say that we wouldn't be interested in really small initiatives and um, we are quite keen to um work with minority groups or the harder to reach groups as well so um so yes it's not just about it's not just about net zero it's about the wider the wider sort of context and behaviors as well i noticed judith had a question as well judith did you want to Ask a question. I, um, you really are. I, I just wondered if you were going to include things like biodiversity and suds and things, because that's what our event that it coincides with the Great Big Green Week is all about. So, yes, yes. So, yes, in answer to your question, thank you. Um, uh, Yes, absolutely. Biodiversity. I think the one thing um, which I'm, I'm sure you're aware that, that um, if there are any third party permissions that are required. So, for example, if a um, if a community group wanted to 
install a large um, planter in a public area. Obviously, there are third party permissions that need to, there's a process that, need, that needs to go through. If you have any questions on that side of things, then obviously get in touch with us and we can, we can answer those on an individual level. Uh, Dilawar? Hi, um, thanks for um, the presentation, guys. Um, obviously, I work for Thames 21, as you know. Um, for those that don't, we basically run river um, river based activities, so river cleanups. Uh, we do the big wet wipe camps in Battersea. Um, so we have already have a bit of a presence in the area, but um, I was just looking at the um, low tide forecast for that week, and there are some good low tides, thankfully, for the week. Um, so, I mean, if anyone's interested in collaborating with us, um, I'm sure we could do and run an event for one of those days at least. Um, particularly, I'm interested in working with some of the minority groups that live in the area. I've worked with Catherine Lowe settlement before, so I might reach out to them tomorrow, maybe drop them an email. I am due to visit them as well. So, I mean, we could reach it out to the wider community too. It doesn't have to be one particular group. So, um, like a big probably a big event on the river maybe we could we could um, facilitate so um, I think we'd be happy to do that. Awesome that's something I um, should say as well if, if anyone has kind of suggestions like the law I just shared which they'd be kind of open to collaborating on um, obviously share them we can share them with breakouts in a second but feel free to kind of tell us them at any point and we can kind of do that dot connecting or kind of put those opportunities out there and kind of advertise that um, a group is looking to work with other groups and would anyone like to do something. Um, so if you have an idea or something comes to mind in coming weeks of something that you need external kind of support or you want to work with someone else, um, we are also kind of on hand to do that. Um, yeah, convening. Um, and that sounds great. I'm glad that about the tides. And I should also say, obviously, the dates of Big Green Week are the 10th to the 18th. So we're hoping for the majority of activities to take part in that week so that we can kind of channel all of our promotional efforts into really making a big kind of buzz and having that big conversation around that week. However, if if it falls on the 9th, if it falls on the 19th, it, we will still include it in the programme. We're just looking to kind of obviously um focus thing it's in on that week um but i understand sometimes there are you know tides <laughs> and other other kind of constraints that mean it would be more convenient to hold it so we're not kind of holding things strictly to the 10th to the 18th but just as close to those dates as possible um any other questions um we'll move into breakout groups in a session in a second i'm just going to have two groups and the functions of those is just everyone can introduce themselves and talk about the work that they do or their interest in local community climate action or kind of the background they have on climate action. Um, and then we've kind of got some discussion prompts that we can work through around, um, yeah, around the week. But if there's any more questions, we have a bit of time now. So I've just slightly clumsily uh, put the discussion prompts for the breakout groups <laughs> into the Great. chat. Oh, and uh, just to pick up on Judith's comment, I've just seen Judith's comment about um, help with publicity. So that is something we're going to mention at the end. We have some dates for your diary, but we we know that the, the two things that we often get told um, groups would really need help with are kind of publicity and promotion um, and funding. So obviously put the micro grants in place for funding and publicity. The reason we'll have a deadline in May for kind of submission of events is so that we can fully put together this programme, fully put together a digital campaign and also flyers and make sure that those are really well disseminated across the borough, that we get the word out as far reaching as possible. Um, but we're also going to run a specific workshop, which we'll mention at the end, um, to equip you to do publicity and promotion, because we know that we've had groups come to us before and say that they've not had experience using Eventbrite or they've not had experience using specific social media platforms. Um, um, so we're going to run a kind of optional workshop for those that would like um, help and, and we will specifically have kind of comms expert on hand, expertise on hand, um, just to kind of advise on the best way. So whilst we will kind of hopefully do a lot of the legwork with public publicity and promotion for the kind of program wise, we also really want to make sure that we equip anyone who's running an event to do their best to publicise it locally as well. So hopefully through those two different avenues. So, um, Megan, I mean, I've got a question. So, I mean, on publicity, actually. So, you know, we get a lot of publicity, especially with the wet wipe issues. Um, how far and wide would you like to um, publicise this? Because potentially we could get, you know, 
I'm not saying that we could, but potentially we could get, you know, news coverage or something like that, like some sort of press we could probably organise if that's helpful at all. Um, is that something worth looking into? Yeah, I mean, our comms team will definitely be like pulling together a press release and they'll be putting out stuff to local media. Um, it'll go out on Brightside as well. Um, so, yeah, as far reaching across the borough as possible, um, we want to be as ambitious as possible with how far reaching <laughs> um, we can get the word out um, so that as many people as possible in the borough can get involved with something during the week or know that something is happening. Um, yeah. Great stuff. So, I mean, maybe it would be worth, um, if you could connect me to your comms team, maybe then we can probably collaborate together. And um, yeah, thanks. And, and I think it, at the moment, our focus is on spreading the word amongst community groups and anyone that can can participate. So completely take on board. Um, we can absolutely do that. Um, but any ideas that people have specifically about how we can talk about the great big green we can encourage people to think about running projects either existing projects that attract new audiences or, or running new projects or um, anyone who might want to get involved so within your networks or if you have any particular ideas about particular groups that we can go and talk to or particular communication channels that would be really helpful to know as well Anna. Anna. Hi, um, I'm kind of here partly on behalf of Friends of Wandsworth Common, but also um, trying to get Belleville Primary School involved as well. Um, I'm just a parent there. Um, but yeah, in terms of trying to reach out to groups, have you got a plan for how to try and get schools involved? Um, because I know that something was sort of sent to them last week, uh, last year when, you know, there was stuff on. I don't know how many got involved, but I just know the schools just get absolutely swamped. But it would be really great to get as many of them on board with either doing their own activities or publicising, you know, the fact that it is happening. And I think sometimes the academy trusts get left out and as do the faith schools. So sometimes you have, you know, the council has a good direct in with their own schools, but beyond that, it doesn't actually work quite as well. Yes, so in terms of schools, we're really keen for them to get involved and definitely recognise that they hugely get swamped. Um, so the school's sustainability network, which I think we've emailed about before, Anna, we are, mm -hmm. which is what I think they got contacted about last week. We are relaunching alongside children's services. And um, so that is happening. The first termly one is happening uh, next week. And as part of the agenda of that meeting, we are talking about um, Great Big Green Week um, and suggestions of how schools might get involved. Um, and we're also going to be sending out five the school's newsletters but um I will go back to children's services and verify verify um just check because I if that newsletter if it goes to all schools or if it isn't going out to academies um and face schools and if not um look at getting in contact in them in another way but we've been looking at updating our database um and asking all schools for a kind of eco lead or an eco contact. I mean, I know many schools already have this. Some of the schools, it's still the head um, so that we can make sure that we're contacting the correct people and not swamping the same person with all sorts of different information. Um, and also Caroline from our arts team, I believe, is on the call. Um, and we've had a brief conversation about um, potentially um, some artists might like to get involved and work with schools. So artists will be able to apply for a grant um, and then do some direct works with schools. Um, We've just had a brief conversation about that. I don't, if there's anything else to add, yeah. Caroline, jump in. Well, I thought I'd just add that and just, just highlight in case people aren't aware that um, uh, the Big Green Week um, coincidentally runs at the same time as um, WAF, which is Wandsworth Arts Fringe, which is our um, large art, arts fringe festival that um, happens across the borough every year. If you're not aware of it, I'll pop the link in the chat. Um, so, yeah, I guess if there's anything... There might, be, there might be opportunities there people might see to link stuff through with what's happening with WAF or um, the artists that will already be in the area. Um, yeah, again, it was a very brief chat, so we can, I'm sure we can give you more detail on that, but I'll put the link in the chat to WAF so you have an awareness of what that is if you haven't heard of it before. Thank you. Great, I think I will split us into a couple of breakout groups now, and um, that's just so we can um, have a bit more space um, to chat and go through those kind of prompts that are in the chat um, and just find out a bit more about what everyone does. Um, yeah, I will 
two seconds and you will get an invite to join a group. <laughs> We're back in just as you were going to say something, Judith. Well, I was just saying that you said you were going to contact schools when you were talking earlier to, to the lady from Belleville. Be and I do think it's really important because we're, uh, the Putney Society also works on a local parklet and we work with a local school to try and get them involved in the idea of growing plants and the whole importance of plants and things. And we find the teachers, I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of willing, but they don't know anything absolutely nothing about growing things and 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 that is it's kind of soul destroying the children often know more than the teachers yeah i think um for me i think um uh carbon literacy is really important and i know that the council was working on something to do with it but i'm trying to push it at the school because i absolutely agree judith it's the teachers are totally out of their depth to, to how to answer questions um, and it's not really fair on them because they're not being given the opportunity to to learn how to answer those questions. Hi everyone, sorry <laughs> I'm aware everyone just got thrust back um, into the into the main room, sorry if we kind of I'm uh, just aware of keeping everyone too long. Um, but I hope that those conversations or beginning of conversations were useful. I know I found it really encouraging. We talked about repair cafes and mudlarking and what did you, what was did you call it, Nick? Like individual mini wetlands and yeah. Um, down, down, pipe, it, <laughs> down pipe wetlands. Down pipe wetlands. Um, so two things that we talked about in um, our group that it's just useful to let everyone know about. Um, it's 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 evident that actually there are going to be some ideas that come out of this and that other people have that they would love to run but they need capacity or volunteers for um so if that is something um let us know and we can kind of try and collate things all in one place and connect people up with people who would like to volunteer um and also if um like Dilawar shared earlier he's got sort of an idea or topic area as it were um, that he's happy to collaborate on so if anyone has an offer of a of an activity or something they'd like to collaborate on if you, you can also send that to us and we can again we'll just kind of collate it into one place presumably the web page oh can everyone else hear me okay yeah um hopefully it kicks back in for you anna <laughs> my sound did go earlier so i was worried you were all just listening to me mime then um yeah, we can kind of collate that all into one place so that we can connect people up um, easier so everyone's not just sort of going around the houses trying to um, kind of get everyone. Yeah, kind of a list of people on this call, but also um, there are other people that couldn't make this call tonight. And um, there are other people that, are, uh, that, that I know are wanting the slides and wanting to get involved. So, um, yeah. But if people have a specific offer or a specific need for volunteers, um, if you if you let us know about that with as much or as little detail you have, and we can kind of put that together so that people can get, and um, we can kind of advertise that as a an activity that if someone would like to get involved, because um, we often have people that come to us saying well, I want to get involved in something locally, and we sort of almost don't know where to send them because there's so many places we could send them. So if those those specific activities we can kind of direct people towards and also to hopefully make sure that things happen um, and that you have the capacity that you need. Um, great, I am just going to share my screen to just give you the key dates and then I will let you all um, go and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday evening. Um, done that, uh, great. Key dates. So again, um, no need to rush and kind of write these down. I will send around the slides um, and all the kind of key information that I've mentioned. Um, but um, hopefully by the end of this week, start a next. Um, the event form that I mentioned that will be a web page form and the funding applications will be sent round. Those will also be on the web page so anyone can kind of find them. Um, we're going to host another community workshop like this um, at the end of April. Um, and funding applications will close at the end of April. That's just so that we can actually 
make sure everyone knows that they've got the money and begin giving it out so people can kind of start actioning it. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're also going to have a kind of specific comms workshop for anyone who would find that particularly useful um, for groups that would like support with kind of communications and event promotion. Um, and we will have kind of um, comms expertise on hand to go through everything from social media platforms to Eventbrite to Canva to kind of specific tips and tricks for getting local press and so on and so forth. And then, of course, the key dates, Great Big Green Week itself, the 10th to the 18th. Um, just muting and unmuting myself instead of moving to the next form. Um, all that's left to say is thank you for coming, although very quickly whilst you're all still here, <laughs> we'd obviously love to get your feedback. Um, you can either give us any feedback you have um, via the email address that's on the screen or um, we're happy for you to just drop it in the chat now. We'd just love to know three things. Um, firstly, um, if after this session you're hoping to get involved with Great Big Green Week, how we can equip you to do so. And we'd also just love to know these sessions in the future, the kind of the April session that I mentioned and the May, um, would you prefer for these to be online or would you prefer these to be in person? Um, we made this one online because we were aware that um, there wasn't a massive amount of lead time with the promotion, so we felt it was more accessible. But I'm aware that there's a real difference to kind of when you're in the room having those conversations but also where it's less accessible for those with children or those with other evening commitments. So, um, yeah, we'd just love to know those three things in particular, either in the chat or via email. Um, if you're hoping to get involved, if there is any specific ways you would like um, us to equip you in doing so, and we can kind of tailor those future workshops. And if you would kind of have a preference towards things being online or in person in the future. Um, and I think, um, that is everything. I can no longer see everyone. Um, Georgina, did you have anything else to add before I just say thank you? <laughs> no, just an observation that I think our um, breakout group just connected and had some really nice discussions and it was lovely to see that. So thank you very much to for the interest and the enthusiasm and support and excitement towards it all. Brill. Um, great. Yeah, I felt the same. I hope it was sort of short but sweet and I know connections are beginning to be made um, and we'll kind of continue to help doing that and connecting people up with one another. Um, I'll just leave the chat open for a few more bits of feedback. Um, it, it, by the end of the week, I will send you all the slides, um, the link to the web page that we've kind of been putting in the chat um, and hopefully the exact web page form for um, the funding application and also kind of putting in the details for any event that's going to happen um, and I'll have a work on that kind of mechanism for kind of connecting people up with specific uh, either volunteering needs or collaboration requests. There's always GDPR to kind of manage <laughs> in terms of sharing contacts and um, so we'll just look at the be best kind of mechanism for joining people up in that respect um, but yeah but thank you all for giving up time on a Tuesday evening. I really appreciate it. And um, I hope that this has got everyone excited for Great Big Green Week. Um, I'm definitely really excited to see what kind of events and activities people start to put together um, and really hope that we'll have a great programme to deliver for Wandsworth. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Right. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.